Due to the number of plumbing systems that could occur in your building model, you may need to create additional piping system types in order to document the systems properly. This is different than creating new pipe types. Pipe types control the routing preferences and material used when creating the actual pipe elements. Piping system types control the graphic appearance of the piping elements that are assigned to that system. For example, I'll zoom in to the south portion of the building and select a plumbing fixture. When I do, the ribbon changes to the Modify Plumbing Fixtures Contextual Ribbon. A Piping Systems Contextual Ribbon also appears. I'll switch to the Piping Systems Contextual Ribbon. Looking in the System Selector in the Contextual Ribbon, you can see the systems that the plumbing fixture is assigned to. Depending on which system is selected, the Properties palette displays the properties for that system. I'll select the Sanitary System. When I do, you can see Sanitary Piping System in the Type Selector, and the Properties palette populates with parameters for the selected system. I'll select Edit Type to open the Type Properties dialog for the Sanitary System type. Here, you can control parameters under Graphics, Materials and Finishes, Mechanical, Identity Data, and Rise Drop. To create a new piping system type, click Duplicate. In the Name dialog, I'll name this type Sanitary-Acid Waste, and then click OK. Back in the Type Properties dialog, I'll click the Edit button next to Graphic Overrides to open the Line Graphics dialog. Here, you can control the line weight, color, and pattern for pipes assigned to a system with this piping system type. I'll click the Color Swatch to open the Color dialog. I'll choose Orange and then click OK. Then I'll click OK to close the Line Graphics dialog. Next, you could select a material, but I will leave it set to by category and create a new pipe type for pipes in this type of system. Under the mechanical section, you can control how flow will be calculated. The available options are flow only and none. Also, realize that the system classification is set to sanitary and cannot be modified. This is because we began with a sanitary piping system type and the system classification cannot be modified. In the Identity Data area, you can specify additional information for the system type to be used in schedules and tags. Under the Rise Drop section, you can control the two-line drop symbol, two-line rise symbol, single-line drop symbol, Single Line Rise Symbol, Single Line T Up Symbol, and Single Line T Down Symbol for pipes assigned to a system of this piping system type. To modify one of the values, click in the field and click the Adjacent button. Every parameter under Rise Drop contains a button that will open the Select Symbol dialog. Here, you can select one of the available symbols to use. I'll click Cancel to close the dialog. So as you can see, when you need to design plumbing systems that are not standard in Revit default project templates, you can create new piping system types in order to show the piping systems properly. If you want to further control the graphic overrides as well as the visibility of systems, you should create view filters.